what's up narco gang welcome back to the channel if y'all not subscribed you already know what to do hit that like button hit that subscribe button and hit that bell to be notified for everything that we drop if you haven't heard the news about six days ago trump made like a you know he, he did like his his campaign excuse me i got allergies and shit his campaign run right and i believe today he did another speech or, or he said something I don't know if it was a tweet I can't find that shit nowhere if y'all can find it let me know where it's at but he pretty much said excuse me that he going to jail tomorrow right pretty much Trump said he getting arrested tomorrow yes Donald Trump the for former president of the United States of America is planning on being arrested tomorrow on I, I believe hush money charges uh, they got a few other charges they're trying to put on him. Wars, uh, crime, war crimes. I don't know what the fuck it is, bro. They trying to get my boy, man. Yes, yes. Unfortunately, or fortunately, however you want to look at it, I'm Trump supporter. I don't feel bad about it. You know, I'm open. I'm open to y'all. I'm transparent. I'm sure not all of you guys are Trump supporters. It's all fine and dandy. I really don't care personally. But, um, yeah, so, he said he's going to jail tomorrow. I really can't find this shit anywhere, you know, like, anywhere on the blog, on the blogs, on the blogs. Uh, the DA hasn't said nothing about it, but there are other politicians that's speaking about it. And he did, in his speech, he did call out for a protest at the Capitol again. So, y'all know how that shit happened last January 6th. Or January, I don't know if it was last, it wasn't last January, it was the year, last year. So, yeah. Y'all know how that shit went. Shit wasn't so, it wasn't so good. So, let's get into this video. Y'all hit the like button, hit that subscribe button. Narco Gang, let's get into this thing. Ooh, wrong button, my bad, y'all. I'm sleepy and shit. Former President Donald Trump making new headlines as he uses his social media platform to claim that his arrest is imminent. Yeah, Trump saying the arrest will happen on Tuesday by the Manhattan District Attorney who is investigating Trump's alleged payment of hush money to porn actress Stormy Daniels. The Trump spokesperson appeared to walk back his claim shortly after the posting. ABC News has not verified the claims and the DA isn't talking, but politicians on the left and the right are. So let's get right to the latest on this with ABC's Rena Roy, who is live outside of New York County Court. Rena, good morning to you. Janae, good morning to you. It is important to reiterate that Trump has not yet been charged in this probe. And so far, no word from the DA. As you said, even Trump's spokesperson appearing to walk back his statement. Former President Trump taking to his social media app Saturday, claiming he will be arrested on Tuesday in relation to the Manhattan DA's investigation into alleged hush money payments made to porn star Stormy Daniels ahead of the 2016 election. ABC News has not verified the claims and the Manhattan DA providing no comment. Trump also calling on his supporters to protest. Former Trump administration official John Bolton saying the call has echoes of January 6th. If he's calling people into the streets, this time he's seen the experience of January the 6th, and I think this is potentially very dangerous. Shortly after his post, a Trump spokesperson in his statement saying in part that there is no notification from the DA on the arrest and insisting the former president is rightfully highlighting his innocence and the weaponization of our injustice system. This after a pivotal week in the criminal investigation, Daniels meeting with Manhattan prosecutors and former Trump attorney Michael Cohen testifying for about five hours in front of a grand jury about that alleged hush money payment. I was working for a man who ultimately became president of the United States. And yes, there were things that we did that were wrong. For example, the hush money payment. The Whoa. questions now about what. Whoa. Whoa. That we did that we became president of the United States. And yes, there were things that we did that were wrong. For example, the hush money payment. The qu oh, he a snitch. Damn, bro. You got a snitch on your side, bro. Come on, man. This nigga then sat there on national TV and told on Trump, bro. That is crazy. 
questions now about whether prosecutors should pursue this case against the former president. If you look at it from the big That's picture, crazy. you've got a tricky legal case in conjunction with one that could arguably help him politically. Former Vice President Pence also weighing in in an interview with ABC's John Carl. The fact that the Manhattan DA thinks uh, that uh, indicting President Trump is his top priority, I think, is just tells you everything you need to know about the radical left in this country. It just feels like a politically charged prosecution here. And Pence has called for any protests to be peaceful. Meanwhile, Trump has said he has no plans to drop out of the presidential race, even if he's indicted. A spokesperson saying that he plans to be in Texas next weekend for a rally. Wit. Rena, thank you. All right, so with that being said, they talk about they trying to arrest Trump. I don't think it's going to happen. Um, they may arrest him, but I don't think he's going to jail. Um, if y'all know anything about the law, they really don't have anything on him to actually charge him which is probably why the da has, hasn't came out and you know put charges against trump just yet but i i just think this is all to get him not to run for president again uh just a bunch of nonsense and just to hold him up in court tie money up and uh, just try to get one of these charges to stick because if one of these charges stick then he won't be able to pretty much run for president in 2024 so yeah, you know how it goes. It's all political bullshit and nonsense, and they playing chess right now. So they're just pretty much trying to checkmate Trump to get him out of the race. And Trump is playing the game pretty good. You know, it's you gotta you gotta play the cards you you know you you dealt. <clears throat> and so far, I feel like he's been doing his shit. So we're gonna probably see him running for president next year. So, yeah, with that being said, let me know what y'all think about this in the comments. I'm, I'm trying not to branch this off to Putin because Putin, you know, that's some other, I'm just, I ain't going to bring it there. Y'all just check out the next video. Y'all hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. The video about done. And I appreciate everybody for tuning in. And with that being said, we have to say, like, oh, gang, peace.